The Wingback Winston card holder is more than just a card holder. It has engineering tech built into it to solve a problem that's existed for as long as wallets have been around. So let's get into it. I pulled it out of the package and we have a card from Alistair. He is the owner and creator. There's information on the back here about uh, leather and how it operates. Take a quick look here. We've reviewed the original Winston Bifold. This is the Winston card holder. You can see that link up top or in the description. A beautiful burnishing paint that's on this. And I'm telling you, the technology in this got me really excited. Features of this wall include two card slots. Exterior, one here on that side, and one here on this side. They're both exterior. They are opposite facing. From there, they can hold two to 10 cards complete within the wallet. Now, what's really neat about this are interior flex leaves. They provide the ability for card expansion, no leather stretch. That means you can load your cards up from two cards to 10 cards total, and you'll pull them out, and you'll be able to go back from 10 down to two, and you'll not be experiencing the stretch. We'll talk about this tech a little bit more. It measures 3.6 by 2.5 by 0.3, and it weighs 47 grams. Minimalist card carry is two, reasonable eight, and the company recommends up to 10 cards. I just put eight in here, four on both sides, and it took it over just fine. You can see how it fits in the front pocket, how it fits in the rear pocket, no problems. This is a card wallet after all. Wingback is my aesthetic favorite in their product design category. I own the other products they sell besides wallets, and the engineering in everything they create is exact, crisp, and a joy to use. Alistair is the owner and creator of the company. Now, earlier this year, he reached out to me and we spoke about the problem of wallets overstretching when too many cards are inserted. And of course, over a quick period of time, they're unable, you're unable to reduce the number of cards because they just start falling out. And that's a big problem. And the only way around that is uh, to uh, soak your wallet, wait till it dries, and all kinds of things that can ruin the format of the leather. So forever stuck with a wallet that must be overloaded all the time is really not nice. He said he might have a solution, and a month or so ago he contacted me to say he had solved it, and what you see today here is the fruit of that engineering genius. Now, but more on that in a minute. So let's get into the quality. This is designed and made in the United Kingdom. It is a full grain, veg tanned, environmentally certified leather. It is sta saddle stitched and then burnished by hand, and just looks really lovely. And of course, the, the leathers they choose are fantastic. The symmetrical design provides quick access to cards either on this side, or you can flip it and use this side. And because of the way it is, cards that are in there are very easy to access for tap pay. If you have a card here, you can just move it out, tap it, pull it in, away you go. Very convenient. It's priced for $83. Now from a usability perspective, there's a pair of stainless steel uh, plates in here, and these stainless steel leaf plates they come up on one side and they're bent down on the other. And they're sewn in very, very tight tolerances on the edge. I mean, you can see how tight they are sewn on the edge to get the full value of these leaf springs that are in here. And that's where you can see that give. There is a give right here and you can feel that. And I have a, a couple of those leaf springs right here. So they fit on the interior here and you can see them on a side view. And so this is what it looks like on the side view like here. And once it's sewn in, it holds them really tight. And this is what provides that pressure. So when cards are inserted, they're inserted in the, in the leather and the pressure of the cards push down instead of pushing up into this top leather piece here. So it pushes pressure down on the bottom piece of leather into these leaf springs. And thus it saves this top leather piece from being stretched. Thus you're able to load up four or five cards per slot and then reduce it to a single card, which you saw I had four cards each and I can put one card in there and it feels snug. And of course, this isn't going anywhere. So you can load up one side or the other side, doesn't matter. And you could keep it in there for a week. You could take out all four or five cards, put one card back in there and it's going to stay. Now, if for some reason it doesn't reset, you can just put it on the table, press down hard and it will take care of that for you. But it was it's been amazing to see. And what a wonderful engineering uh, piece of technology, I think. It may seem simple. What a wonderful solution to find to this. Right here on the side that has the main logo, if you pull back this card slot right there, the slip of it, you can see laser etched, made in England. And then for these uh, 
stainless steel leaves, like I kind of showed you, you got to feel that they are laser etched, wing back, and they have designs that are laser etched. So if you ever get to the point that you really want to find out, I guess you're going to have to rip open that wallet to know for sure if it's a counterfeit, but I think you'll know based on quality. Now let's get into the final score. For quality of five, price of three, features of four, that comes to this benefit of the stainless steel leaves. What a wonderful idea. Usability of four, again, our ability to expand and contract our carry, and perception of five, that gives us an excellent score, 43 out of 50. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you being here as always. The reviews, they're so important to get into the details of these things. And uh, this is just a wonderful innovation. Go take a look at it. It's part of Kickstarter campaign. Look at the link in the description and get one for yourself. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.